Hi, Nicole Young here. In this tutorial, I'm going to give this person a very visible, excruciating headache, and you'll understand what I mean in just a minute. Okay, I have two photos here that I'll be using. Our main image, and a photo of a cracked egg that will serve as the source of the headache. I'm going to start by dragging the egg photo into the main image, and I'm going to hold my shift key down while I do it to keep it so it's right in the center. All right, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this because I don't need it for now. Let's go to full screen. Now the first thing I need to do is resize the egg, but first I'm going to drop the opacity down of that layer so I can actually see where I'm placing it in relation to the image below. So let's drop the opacity down to 50%. Let's zoom out real quick and start resizing this egg. I'm going to hold Command T down. And what I want to do is first I want to actually flip this image. So I'm going to hold my Option key, click on the right here, and then just drag it all the way to the other side and then just move it and position it where I want it to be. Okay. Now I'm gonna do some masking so that I'm only showing the cracked part of the egg. I'm gonna go over to my layer panel and I'm gonna click on the add layer mask icon. I'm gonna go to my brush tool by clicking B. I'm going to look over at my color palette on the left and make sure that black is my foreground color. But before I start painting, let's bring the opacity all the way back up to 100%. And now I just want to paint away all of the areas that are not the cracked part of the egg. And you can resize your brush on the fly just by using your left and right bracket keys. Hide this real quick. Okay. Now next I'm going to go over to my adjustment panel and add a black and white layer. But I only want the egg portion of the photo to be black and white. So what I'm going to do is clip it to the layer below. Now I do that by holding my option key down and hovering right in between those two layers. And when I see that icon change, I'm going to click. And it makes it so that the black and white layer is only affecting the layer that's immediately below it. In this case, the egg. Now I'm going to go back to the egg layer. And I'm going to change its blend mode to overlay. I need to play around with some of the sliders in the black and white layer. So let's go back there. Bring the red out. Darken that up and maybe even some of that yellow. Now basically what I did was I tried to make as much of the white areas of the egg look like it's neutral gray so that when I changed the blend mode to overlay, it basically made that part of the egg disappear. Now one thing I see that I really don't like is this red area right here on the forehead is a little too dark because of that black and white adjustment layer. So I'm going to do some masking to fix that problem. I'm going to make sure that the mask is selected. I'm in my brush tool already, so I'm just going to drop my size down. And painting with black, I'm just going to go in and paint right on top of that red area. Now it's a little too light, so I'm just going to jump over to my mask panel and drop the density down just a little bit. So now I pretty much have the image that I want. Next I'm going to do some basic adjustments to make it pop. The first thing I'm going to do is add an overall black and white layer. And then I'm going to go up and change its blend mode to overlay. And now the very last thing I'm going to do is add some sharpening. I do this by merging and copying all the layers and adding it to the top. You hold Command Option Shift E. I'm going to go up to my filter, select High Pass, and I have it preset where I want it, just about four, between four and five pixels. Click OK. 
and then change that blend mode to overlay. And that's pretty much it. With just a few simple steps, I was able to add a lot of drama and texture to this image, and these techniques can be applied in many different ways to your images. Just be creative and try it out for yourself. <laughs>